So what is it you said you wanted to ask me? Mm. Alright. Oh. So tell me about him. What really happened? Well, he... he He bought a house for my mother, myself, and my sister. On that fateful day, he had um, <coughs> he had taken us from the old house to the new house. And on his way back, he, he had an accident. But you know what I don't understand is why everyone keeps blaming me, accusing me of causing this accident. I mean, it was meant to happen. But then I wouldn't even have my peace. Everybody thinks that accidents happened because of me. What am I supposed to do? Okay, let's be frank here. I just want you to be the judge. Have I done anything wrong? I mean, I've been with this man for eight months, taking him from one place to the other. I have tried. I am too young to go through that kind of stress. But nobody seems to understand. Does, does it feel like I've done something wrong? Because no, 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 done nothing wrong. Same time of we are human. I understand. I feel for him. Oh, but oh, it's alright. It's alright. So. Well, I, I I felt for him at the initial stage, but then I have a life. I'm still a very young girl. It's my happiness and not theirs. Yeah. I can't be going through that kind of stress at this young age. Basically, that's what happened. I mean, I used to feel bad, but not anymore. I understand. Life is all about happiness. Hmm? Uh, it's just so beautiful that you understand me. Uh, I mean, no one else has ever said these words to me. I do. I do. I understand everything perfectly. Uh, yep. Well, I'm not going to have an accident. Shut so up. I wasn't talking about you having an accident. What's wrong with you? Huh? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Uh, why did you not come back on last weekend as we agreed? I, I waited for you. Yes, I was supposed to come. But I thought you understood it already. I said I'm busy. My second semester exam is coming up. So what are you saying? What I'm saying is that I need you to give me time. Uh, maybe after my graduation. Clara. in two years time if I'm not mistaken. Yes, um two years from now. But sincerely I will be glad if you could do this for me. Uh, why are you telling me that? What are you saying, Williams? I don't understand it, but what do you mean turning you down? Why are you take why are you trying to take this in a different dimension? You know what? I'll call you back. I, I need to fix something. Black and white, 
The gap is like night and day. Can't you see? I really, really love you. I'm burning, I'm burning. Can't you see me burning? Yeah. I'm burning deep inside. I'm burning silently. I'm hiding quietly. How many lies? And how many times do you have to lie to me? Oh, oh. I'm broken. I'm broken. Can you see me crying? I'm hurting my love. I'm hurting inside. You are welcome, my friends. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine. Then how are your parents? They're just fine. <laughs> uh, please, let's go inside. Uh, I would rather we speak here. I have come to see you as I have some complaints about Clara. Not only has she changed, Clara lately has been avoiding me. Please don't say that again, my prince. It is the truth. We agreed that she would come home so that we can make plans for the wedding. She did not come home. She did not call. I got worried. So I started calling her. I called Clara severally and she did not take my calls. She did not return my calls either. But then I kept calling. And when she eventually picked up, we talked. And she told me that she thinks that we're going too fast. That she would appreciate it if I give her some time. So in the interest of peace, I asked her how much time she would want. Lara told me, that she'll be ready after graduation. Mama, you and I know that after graduation will be two years from now. I brought up a fiber. That was not the agreement. You mean my daughter Clara told you this? That is why I'm here. Hoping that if you have a heart to heart talk with her as her mother, she would maybe listen to you. Open up. Tell you the truth. Tell you why she has suddenly changed. Why she's avoiding me. Why she's hurting me. Um, my prince, please don't worry yourself. Hmm. Go ahead with whatever plan you have with her. Definitely she will come back. That I promise you. She will come back. Trust me. I shall take your word for it. I don't see promise around. How is she doing? Um, she's not yet back from school. It is fine. Let her know that I was here. And sure. send my warm regards to her. I will. Huh? Thank you very much for your time. Gods.
Hello? Clara? Now listen to me. Listen to me and listen to me. Let me see you now! Let me begin to see your leg inside this compound. Or else, just get yourself prepared to arrange for my burial. Mama, why are you sounding this way? You're scaring me. What is it? Stop asking me questions. Do as I say. Oh, damn it. Mama, listen. You need... No, sir. Hello? Is there any problem? It's my mom. I, I need to get to my village right now. Oh, is she sick? No, she's not, but I mean, she sounded really worried. I need to go. Oh, all, all right. You want me to go with you? It's okay. I'll see you when I get back. But I need to leave right away. Okay? Um, I'll see you when I get back. Let me just pick up my bag and uh, just hold on. What was your arrangement with Prince Williams? I had no arrangement with him, Mama. He talked about getting married to me and I told him to wait, maybe after graduation. Really? Did you just open down your mouth and told him that? Yes, I did. After all, I'm the one getting married to him. I know when I'll be happy or not. So please, Mama, let's not just push this. Be cool. <laughs> now I get it. Listen to me, Clara. I am a woman. Your mother precisely. If there's anything outside your relationship with Prince Williams, consider it a waste. Because it will not work. I will never stay alive to see you just that young man. Never. Hey. Sister, I shut up. Sister, shut up. Mama. Seriously, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't understand this whole thing. I don't want you to understand. The only thing I want you to understand is stand up from here right now. Go to his house because already I told him you are coming today. Uh, Mama, I, I can't go to his house. I'm going back to school. Then, if you want to be an orphan, then let me play that thing I told you on phone. Let me show you an example of what I told you on phone. Right now, under your own very nose. Mama Chirigudua, are you threatening me? It's not a threat! But I'm only telling you what I'm about doing under your own nose now if you don't stand up to go and see Prince Williams in his house. Sister, don't I said shut up! And you shut up! Characterized like a pregnancy See the more you try to hide it Yeah, it's the more it comes to light Yeah, one way or another so be careful what you do Be careful how you treat another Be careful what you do Be careful how you treat another Williams, what did you tell me? Shut up and don't call me that nonsense. What exactly did you tell my mother? I told her the truth. I told her that you have been avoiding me. <laughs> and you think running to my mother will actually change my mind. Baby, please. Calm down, okay? Whatever it is, we can talk about it. We can, we can, we can sort it out. Just tell me what it is. Please, I beg you. Now you want to talk. You're asking me to calm down. 
Williams, what is your problem? It was just one thing. One simple thing I asked of you. Time. After my graduation, we could do anything you want. Go on with your plans, but no. All you could do is run to my mother and report me. I didn't report you, baby. I didn't report you. I just told her how you've been treating me. In the hopes that you would confide in her as your mother. And that way, I get to know what is happening to us. I did not report you. Since she wants to wait, you could go out there, get another woman, and marry her. Because you see, this girl standing right here is not ready for marriage. And let me make this clear. The next time you go to my mother and spit nonsense, you won't like my reaction. How many lies? Do you have to lie to me? Oh, oh. And how much pain in so many ways did you have to bring to me? Oh, oh, oh. I'm broken, I'm broken. Can you see me crying? I'm hurting my love. Hurting inside. I'm broken, I'm broken. Can you see me crying? I'm crying. I'm hurting deep inside. I'm hurting deep inside. Love, love, giving up. It is a Where's your car? I returned it. Did he request for it? He did not. I was just tired. And I don't want any more insults from him. Imagine the fool. He had the guts to report me to my mother, saying that I have been avoiding him. Yes. Can you imagine Serious? that? Yes. <sighs> Let's see. <clears throat> oh, you see. Any first marriage doesn't last. You know these exact words you just said? It's the same thing I need my mother to hear. I mean, the woman is not even listening to me. She doesn't even care about my own feelings. But you should understand you're an adult. You have every right to make your own decision. Oh. Huh? You see, right now, I don't care. I am done being a maid to that guy. I have tried. For the past eight months, I have been taking this man back and forth. Can you imagine? He even defecates on his bed. Wow. I have to do the cleaning, do everything. I mean, they should, they should understand where I am coming from. I am tired. And then his useless sister, they say, wouldn't even for once come into the room to help her own brother. All she does is send a maid to clean her brother up. So a full grown man. For eight years you've been a slave in that house. Eight months. For I, eight months. Yes, eight months. It's been hell. Hell. Please just take me out of here. I need to go somewhere and relax at times. Are the choices we make are solely up to us? If I know my daughter, you're going to tell her. Your daughter is there in me. I'm just keeping quiet because of you. If not. I would have taught her a lesson she would never forget in a hurry. No, Rubiko. My knees are on the ground. Please, I'll make sure I call her to order. Please. Do that as soon as possible. I will. You may sit. Thank you. Janet. Your Majesty. If I ever see my son in beans again because of her, 
I will put her in a condition she will never come out of. Your Majesty, please calm down. Hold every of your action for now. Please. You know my husband, the king. He's a no-nonsense man. I know. Good. All these things are like this because he's not aware of anything yet. Um, Lolo, please, don't tell him yet. I will make sure I bring her first thing tomorrow morning. Please. It's a promise. Please. I'll be waiting. Thank you. Either you follow me pushing to the village or you kill me here today. It is better you bury me in this house, Mama, because I will not move again. What is it? I have, I have the boss and you'll be here screaming. Follow me to the village. I am not going there. Come on, let's go. Mama, Please, Mama, me follow me to the village now. Mama, stop this one. It is better you go with me peacefully or you kill me here. Then get a cut last because you will cut off my head. I am not leaving this compound. What is it now? Right. Eh? What is it? Will you keep quiet? Keep quiet! You knew about it all this while. But you kept, you kept it to yourself. You didn't even bother to tell me. And I didn't tell you it's alright. Eh? Follow me to the village. Mama, I have to come back out. I have to come back out. Leave me alone. Mama, stop. Hey, Mama, calm it down now. Just respect yourself. Sorry? Come on. Come on. What's going on? Madam, please. What's going on? Where are you? Who? Who are you? Eh? Who? Who are you? Mama, who? Who are you? Mama. Mama. Eh? Yes, sorry. Yes. My name is Kelvin. Eh? I'm her fiance. Is it? Yeah! Is it Mama Biko? Yeah, what? Madam, please take it easy. Take what easy? Yeah, we can talk this way. Talk what over? Talk what over that you confused my daughter. Took her away from the man that suffered for her. The man that gave me shelter. The man that gave her this whole building. The man that even went. Oh, the man that cannot even walk. Still because of her. And you are telling me I can stand here to talk this over. Tell me what you want to talk over. The only talk over is for her to follow me to the village. That's all it is. Mama. Listen to what I have to say. When I met your daughter, she wasn't walking along with any man. And since I met her, no man has ever walked up to me to tell me she belongs to him. Please, I'm saying this not because I'm involved, but because I know it's the truth. Please, this action you're about to take I want you to have everything. It is an adage that says, you can force a horse to the stream, but you cannot force that horse to drink water. Mama, please, do not take this action you are about to take and make your daughter regret all the days of her life. Marriage is supposed to be something you enjoy all your life. Not regret. It's supposed to be eternal. Please, at your own quiet time, think about all I have said. Come on, come on, come on, sit down. Come on, walk about. Kevin, come on, walk about. Mama, stupid. Talking about Kevin. Shut up!
Now let me break it down. I hope you know he cannot assume the truth because of his condition. How did you know that? Because I'm a neighbor man and I know much about the tradition. I am very close to tradition. He has told me that before. Fine. Now tell me, what is the need of getting married to someone that will be a liability to you for the rest days of your life? Listen, he has lost it. He lost everything. He lost everything because of me. Life. He lied to you. Probably that's what he made you believe. But listen, right from the very first day he was born, it has been written that he's going to get that accident with you or without you. So come on, stop blaming yourself. He has done a lot for me. Come on. I mean, I, I can't I hey, possibly come. leave him now. Come on, I thought you were more exposed. Now, Phil, let's bring me down. This, for example, is the opposite side. It is you, the accident placed on the wheelchair. Do you think he'll be so proud of you? Telling people, yes, he had an accident, he's in this condition because of me? No. Probably he would have gotten married to one other girl from the village, probably your friend, and make her the queen of Uma is a kingdom. Come on. Exposed. Now, now, wait, wait. This, 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 for example, is the opposite side. side. It is you, you as a priest of the church. Do you think he's so proud of you? Of you? Tell the people, yes, yes, he had an accident. He's, he's in this, this condition, condition because, because of me. No, no. probably he would have gotten married to one or the other girl of the family, probably your friend, and they got the queen of the kingdom. Come on. Listen to me, Clara. I am a woman. woman. Your, Your mother, mother precisely. If, if there's, there's anything, anything outside, outside your relationship, relationship to Prince William, mm -hmm. consider, consider it a waste. waste. Because, because you, you know, know what? what? I will never, never stay alive, alive to see you just like that young man. man. Never. never. Janet. Your Majesty. Where is your daughter? I went to the city. I tried all I could, but she refused to follow me. Shut up, you liar! I'm not lying. How dare you lie before my mother? Aren't you afraid? Or you want me to order the guards to beat you up? Oh, what is this stuff? No, mother! Why would she lie before us? I'm not lying. Are we kids? You know what, mom? Allow me to handle this matter myself. Uh, Your Majesty, I swear by the gods of Ibenda community. I tried all I could to bring her back, but all to no avail. Please, I'm not lying. Your daughter cannot eat her cake and expect to have it back. Get out of my compound. Please. Don't touch me. Please. Don't touch her. Please. Get! Uh, please, please. She said you should get out. Get! Run if you can. I'm <laughs> 
your cake and have it, right? And what is that supposed to mean, Princess Daisy? Is it by force to marry your brother? Oh, now you know marriage is not by force. God, bundle her into the car. What? Now if you dare lay your filthy hands on me, I will give you a life. Don't touch me! Don't wait! I didn't say that! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! I didn't say what's the news! Don't touch me! 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 Clara and I we are going out. When we came out here, the, the princess drove in with, with her guard and, and took her away. I, I don't understand. Just like that. Just like that. The princess is mad. If I were to be Clara, they won't take me to her anyway. Never. I want, I want her. I want Clara. Now see. See. Grace, what do we do? Nothing. You can't fight royalty, especially when it has to do with human lives. It's true. We can't fight them, and uh, she'll be back. Hmm? Let's not get ourselves worked up. But besides, marriage is not by force. Exactly. Marriage is not by force. I wonder how a full-grown man will be forcing himself into a woman. If it will not happen, it can never happen. Come rain, come shine. What are you doing? I'm trying to call her mom. Her mom or Kevin? Me. Call Kevin. He's the cause of this happening. I can't call that idiot. No, 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 he's not the cause of anything. Yes. Clara is playing her games on her own. Yes. You know, the, the, the fact is, the two of you are right. Clara is playing a dangerous game. We are not disputing that fact. But let us just remember that that Kelvin of a guy contributed to this. Don't mind that. Hello, ma. You think you can eat your cake and have it? Today you will know the difference between a royal family and an ordinary family. Tie her up in the guard room until my husband returns. You take a horse to the stream, but you never force a horse to drink water. 
character is like she does not want to move, you move her. Can you hear she doesn't want to walk? It's the more it comes to light, yeah, one way or another. So be careful what you do. Be careful how you treat another. Be careful what you do. Be careful how you treat another. understand it's marriage by force after punishing that girl like this what will be prince william's fate if they eventually got married they will never get married again from the look of things i doubt they will not it's Yoku. we have our hearts at our back if not how would she leave the prince at this point in time don't you think that this might affect the prince psychologically after everything he did for her? But let's be sincere. If you were the girl, will you still marry the prince in this country? Yes, I will. I swear by the gods of women as a community. If I'm lying, let them strike me dead. I mean, how can? How can you claim to be in love with somebody and all of a sudden you turn your back on that person? Let me tell you, girlfriend, you see love, love has no boundary, love doesn't cut wrong, love doesn't sit to that because that is why they said love is blind. Look, you see this woman, this woman doesn't love the prince, she pretends to be in love with him because of what he is. And now that everything she hoped for isn't forthcoming, love dies. You are not far from the truth. You see, if you love someone, no matter the condition, you must stick by it. Life is a gift of love. But the choices we make are solely up to us. Nice, sit down. Sit. So, what happened? Your daughter sounded so. Oh, um, yes, Iman, that case I reported to you yesterday, I was called from my daughter's school that she was taken away. Uh, Today? Yes, a few minutes ago. Okay. Uh, you don't just worry anyway. I know nothing will happen to her. I wanted to go to the palace. That's why I called you if you can accompany me. That is not the best thing to do, now. If by the end of today, she is not back, first thing tomorrow morning, I'll be the one to tell the party to our evening, so you just don't bother. Is that clear? You think that's the best thing to do? I think so. Looking at the circumstances around. Okay, you said so.
to bring her here. Nobody, father. I did it on my own. Because that girl is a gold digger. She can't eat a cake and have it. Father, uh, tell this girl to stop her. Mark is going to break your back. Did I ask you to help me collect my cake? Are you mad? Are you out of your mind? Now, listen up, everyone. Adesi. Father. Anytime you take orders from any other person in this palace without my consent, then I will show you an example of how to be honest and obedient. Is that okay? No. God! God! Go untie that girl and set her free. Father! This meeting is over. of the community. I swear on the land of Ibenda community. If I know anything concerning my daughter's sudden change of mind towards you, let the land of Ibenda be my shelter henceforth. If I have thought of today coming to pass in this manner, may I not see tomorrow. And I swear by the sun, that whosoever that's confused my daughter towards you, may they not see light, may they not have peace. I have joined both of you together before now, my prince. And so shall it remain till eternity. I know nothing about this. Trust me, Clara is your wife, and she remains your wife. Oh, what is happening? What is going on? Ah, you're in this apartment. That man you see on your way, she wanted to marry Clara. Go forbid. Why would Clara marry a man on a wheelchair? Why thousands of healthy men are out there? That's why I say you're new here. I don't understand. My dear, that man was healthy when he engaged Clara. Before his present condition, he bought this building with Clara's name. This is really unbelievable. He's even a prince. Yes. Clara didn't do it if that is the case. She didn't do it at all. My dear, she didn't do it. Thank God you now understand. She Hi. didn't try. Like fitting him.
good for me. Joku, Joku, I did not ask you for all these things you are saying you brought to me and asked me to take you. Are you not going to you again? Are you not going to Yes. Eh? Yarum. Okay. Okay. Ofunwa na yes. It's me. Ofunwa ana yes. I say, it's me. Okay. What do you want us to do? Bram! Now you are talking. In fact, now I approve your behavior for you. You are talking <laughs> like a man. Eh? See, just leave her. She's my wife. Just leave her for me. Only that. Yes. Thank you. I am not. Hey, my friend, shut up. Men are concluding issues. And you are still there busy. Come. I was saying, yo. Hey! Hey! the last time that I'm going to keep one barrier for him but this time eh, I think it's going to be you your sister and your father so that your relative will be the people to do the barrier give up 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 You hardened your heart to understand the way this man loves you. Clara, this man provided everything for you. This man made you feel very different from every other girls on campus. Clara, you know, this accident did not just occur. It did not just happen and you know that. If he did not take you and your people to see the new house, then the accident wouldn't have come up in the first place. How do you want people to see you? Please, I just wish you could change and love you. Are you done? I asked a simple question, are you done? You if know, you don't mind, I want to be left alone. I, I should Grace, please, the last time I checked, this is my room. I think you should leave. Clara, you know, Thank you very much, Grace. Please. Clara, are you sending me? Grace, Grace, I really don't want to get pissed. I don't want to get angry. So please, just leave. You can take a horse to the stream But you never force a horse to drink water Clara ties like a pregnancy See, the more you try to hide it Yeah, is the more it comes to light Yeah, one way or another so be careful what you do Be careful how you treat another Be careful what you do Be careful how you treat another Clara, my everything. This is it. This is the reason you abandoned me in this condition. A condition that I got into in the first place because of you. You betray our love like this, Clara.
Okay. Some incapacitated. Clara, what I told you, I love you. I give you all of my heart. Clara. But you have made me learn the hard way that nothing in life is worth my life. So I choose my life over you. I will stay away from you so that I do not die of heartbreak. Omenka. My prince. Take me out of here. Alright, sir. How many times do I have to tell you that I really love you? Oh, yeah. How many ways am I supposed to show you that I really love you? Oh, yeah. yeah. You don't want to go the miles. You don't want to pay the price. But for your love, I've already paid the price. I don't even understand what is it that makes you cry. to this palace without my consent, I will have your cops fed to the dogs. I not ever, not even a word. Don't come back here. Do you hear me? Yes. Omenka. My prince. I will not change it. Even if I end up not marrying Kelvin, I will not go back. And you shall remain unmarried as far as I'm concerned. It's better I remain unmarried than to marry a man my heart does not beat for. What is it, Clara? Are you the one who's going to stay at home with him? It is my happiness, not yours. Hey, hey. Uncle, I had a carryover in school because of this young man. For the past eight months, I have been moving him from one place to the other. Clara! Mama, 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 Biko. Hey! Biko. Allah. Ah, ah. Next time, I'll allow her. Why won't you? Mama Biko, let's please, why won't you let me be? Let's see her. Ah, ah. Biko, this is not about you. I'm the one who is going to end up with this man. I'm sure even if I get married to him, this marriage will not even last for a month. I am not happy. Don't you get it? Am I supposed to give up my life for him? How am I even supposed to stay with him? This happiness is about me and not him and not you or uncle here. So please, everybody should just leave me alone. Okay, fine. Yes, he had an accident, but not because of me. There is something called destiny. God knew from the onset that this was going to happen. And it happened. So everybody should just take a chill pill and leave me out of this. Williams did not have an accident because of me. Because. No, 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 no. Can you just listen? No, do you just listen to what she's saying? Yes, okay. Do you just see what she's going to from her about? Huh? Clara. Oh. Remember this accident took place in the middle of your relationship. Let her understand it. Uncle, I have said it before and I'm going to say it again. 
God knew this was going to happen. It's not my making. Am I supposed to end up with him because he had an accident which was not even caused hey. by me? And why are we making a fuss about this? This young man hasn't even paid my bride price. Hey. Mama, if this house is your problem, if you want a new place, I can get you a duplex, well furnished in the city, so I could have my peace. If that is not fine by you, then I'd rather take my leave. Hey! hey! My daughter, yeah, you are welcome again. Uh, thank you very My much. My once again, you are welcome. Thank you, Uncle. Um, well, Uncle, we decided to come and see you. You know, it's been a while I, <laughs> I saw you. Yes. So, um, my fiance and I decided to come and greet you properly. Mm -hmm. That's good. And uh, without saying so much, we brought this for you. It's a little token. Uh -huh. uh, we just want you to manage it for now. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, you came to visit Uncle today. Huh? All this one for me. Ah, Uncle, there's more to come. Oh. Hey, more. So serious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kile, kile. Huh? I hope. <laughs> ah. Is anything uh, the problem, or you brought this one for Uncle to use when you're surviving, or uh, is anything the matter? <laughs> <laughs> you know, since my father died. You have been more than a father to us. Oh. Yes, I mean, that is the exact reason I came here with my friends. To let you know that uh, we're preparing for our traditional marriage and our white wedding, which we intend to do on the same day. Okay. And as uh, my father, it's only proper for me to tell you officially and for you to bless us. Hey, no problem at all. Oh, that's a very good one. So this is the kind of good news we want to hear. If my daughter says she wants to get married, will I be the one to stop her? No, no. <laughs> yeah. In fact, that's a very good... Uh, but let's ask now, is your mother aware of this plan? Have you been able to convince her on it? Uh, yeah, uh, Uncle, um, <clears throat> like uh, she made me understand, we're the oldest man in the family. And uh, I said to myself, it would be better to come talk to you as man to man than trying to convince her mother so that's one of the reasons we actually came in we want you to help us talk to her mother and convince her and uncle if you get this done for us we'll be rewarded handsome ah, that's not a problem though. Okay. because my brother's wife is my wife yes sir and can i have a problem when i'm talking to my wife yeah. consider it done my children oh, thank you when I meet her, by the time I tell her what I want to tell her, it's fine now. No. Last time, I was telling you about Clara's attitude towards this young man. And you weren't listening to me. You were busy giving her all your support. I cannot heap course upon myself. This young man has never done me any wrong. Get that? He changed our life to this we are today. Then are you expecting me to be part of all this uh, uh, um, nonsense that Clara is doing? And you're telling me to calm down, to support her for which stupid marriage is that? I must tell you something. I know that young man did so much for her. But you must consider something there. This is our daughter, your daughter. We are talking about her happiness here. Will you want your daughter to go into a relationship that she will be there like somebody who is... No, this I don't want. No, 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 I don't like this. You are not just speaking the truth at all. And I hate it when you lie. When you lie with your own mouth. You are being too sentimental on this issue. Because she's our daughter. Is that young man not somebody's son? Where was, where, where, where was this idiot that they brought down? Where was, where was he when then this man came and changed our life? Is it because the young man had an accident? That's why Clara wants to abandon him. It was even because of us that, that, that he got the, he had the, the accident. 
And you're here sitting down to tell me all, I should I should say I should accept it because Kara is our own and uh, we have happiness. What happened? What, 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 what happiness? I don't like the way you're supporting Ifunu. I don't like it. I know, I know, I know how you feel. I agree. It's, it's difficult. But there are certain things we must also consider. I am the father now of your daughter. It's my daughter. And as a father, I will not see my daughter complain on how to get married and I'll sit down because somebody has done it. That's, that is unthinkable. I have started suspecting you from the very first day. I noticed something. You are not speaking with your truth. You are not speaking with your right tongue. You are speaking from the two coins as if you've been settled. I don't know, I don't know the angle you are coming from. No, no, you have to be blunt this time. Settled? Yes! If you take Clara as your own biological child, you will not sit down here to be telling me all this. Where were you even you then now? Where were you when this young man? Change that like where were you? Uh, yes, that time I was watching this. You were what you were watching. But then I shouldn't say because this thing is happening, I must not leave my daughter. Oh cool. Okay, because uh, the other man is here. So you now think the other man is better. See, I will never in my life join hands with people to support Clara to marry this young man. I have made my stand. I stand with the prince, and that's where I stand. Okay, if you say so. Listen again. Do you know, Pastor Spallet, the way he washed off his hand, I have just, I've just done that now. I've washed my hand and my entire self off from this marriage. Heaven knows I will not be part and partake of this marriage. I will not come out and will not join you. If you are joining, go and join them. And do what? When the gods will start striking, don't call me. So beautiful, baby, baby, you're so beautiful. Love me, love me, love me, love me, kiss me, kiss me, touch me, touch me, tease me, tease me, love me, love me. Just promise me you will never let me go, and I promise you I'll do anything for you. Oh na na na. Love me, love me, kiss me, kiss me, tease me, tease me, oh na 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 na. Love me, love me, kiss me, kiss me, touch me, touch me, right na 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 na. Just promise me you will never let me go, oh na. And I promise you I'll do anything for you. Right now, now, now. Where is your friend? Have you lost your speech? I'm talking to you. Where is your friend? Um, today is her, her traditional marriage. A traditional marriage? I see. Why are you not there? I'm not in support of it. Do you know where it's taking place? Yes, I do. It's at her place at the village. 
Grace, I see that you're all dressed and heading out. Where are you going? I am on my way to the library to read. The library would wait. For I am going to take some of your time. Get into the car and take me to the library. Get in. Hello, Grace.
Clara. I have come to attend your event. <laughs> Uninvited, you would say. How disappointing. You know that it hurts most when we risk our hearts and then it's broken. By the one whom we least suspect would. One of the most painful and hurtful moments in life is when someone comes into our lives, brings so much joy and happiness, and like a thief at night, they snatch it and take it away from us. That is very painful, Clara. I wasted too much time thinking of how beautiful life would be with you, not knowing that you're a green snake in a green cloth. Look at you. You do this to me? What did I not do for you? I loved you. With all of my heart, like no other, I made your life comfortable. I bought you a car, I bought you this house. What if for you and your family, just so that I take you out of that dump? I made you live like a queen in school where others were paying you rent, you were living. Like a queen. And then you betray our love like this. Because of my condition. The condition that I got into because of you. Well, I have news for you today, Clara. But I'm yet to shock. I was never pitiful. Um, as you can see, I'm standing on my feet because I am not crippled. All of this was to test your loyalty. And just like the rest of them, you failed. I'm burning, I'm burning, can't you see me burning? Yeah. I'm burning deep inside, I'm burning silently.
shine No matter what the time I'll never let you go Can I share the shame with you? Hey, do you really feel the shine? Oh, forget about my royalty Let's talk about your loyalty Love is a game of loyalty Would you stand for me? Love me, love me Kiss me, kiss me Tease me, tease me Oh, na, 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 na Love me, love me Kiss me, kiss me Touch me, touch me Right, na, 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 na Just promise me you will never let me go Oh, no And I promise you I'll do anything for you Right, na, 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 na I want you to declare me crippled after six months. And no one, not even my family, must know about this. Okay. How do I look right now and how do you look? Huh? <laughs> I look smart and you look stupid. I ask you right in front of everyone here. Where is your mother? Where is she? She's absent. She won't be part of the charade that you have put up. Because her heart is not as dark as yours. <laughs> it is really true what they say, that beauty can be quite deceptive. You're so beautiful, yet so evil. You are standing beside my friend. You should be ashamed of yourself. Kevin, let me have my keys. Baby, baby, you're so beautiful. Baby, baby, you're so beautiful. Grace! Grace! Love me, love me. Kiss me, kiss me. Stand here. Tease me, tease me, love me, love me. Just promise me you will never. Right in front of my people, I want to introduce to them what a virtuous woman truly is. This one right here is a virtuous woman. All the time she was with you. All the time she warned you. All the time she told you not to do this. All of that time, as I observed your evil ways, I saw her wonderful virtues. So today, if I am going to ask a woman in front of my people to be my wife, it will be you, Grace. Grace, I ask you in the presence of my people, will you be my wife? Please, you seek him, beg him to forgive. Please, you seek him. But a choice we make. I surely have to ask. If I'm your little Abulu, I'm going to tell you how to fool you. I'm going to tell you how to fool you. Wale, wale. You can take a horse to the stream, but you never force a horse to drink water. Character is like a pregnancy. See, the more you try to hide it, yeah, it's the more it comes to light. Yeah, one way or another. So be careful what you do. Be careful how you treat another. Be careful what you do. 